من الله ومنكم هذا فضل من الله واحمد الله واشكره وسعاده ولا توصف يعني كنا احنا ولدنا على الدنيا من جديد الحمد لله اصبح معي بيت ومعي غرف لعيالي ومعي غرفنا ومعي يعني الحمد لله استثرنا بفضل الله وبفضلكم يا اهل الخير رسالتي لمؤسسه الزهراء الخيريه جزاهم الله الف الف خير ويستاهل والف شكر والف تحيه والف سلام الله يحفظكم من كل شر وجزاهم الله خير والله يبني لهم قصور في الدنيا وفي الاخره واجعلهم من اصحاب رسول الله اليوم تحقق لي بيت من منظمة الزهراء الله يبارك لها ويحفظها الذي كنت أتخيله في خيالي اليوم بنت لي بيت وعائلتي لها الحمد ولها الشكر وبارك الله في العاملين الذي سعوا مع منظمة الزهراء كانت حياتي من أول مجعجعة قوي ما كان بعين اسكن كان المطر وهو واصل هنا كان المطر قوي كان وسط الماء واليوم الحمد لله والشكر لله بنت لي بيت أصبح اليوم معي بيت لها الحمد ولها الشكر ومعي بيت من كل حاجة من كل حاجة فيه الغرف النوم المطبخ الحمامات مبلطات نحمد الله ونشكره كل حاجة في البيت نحمد الله ونشكره هذا من منظمة الزهرة الله يحفظها كان الوضع أول والله أنهم متوهجر بيوت إيجار وعند الناس متبهذلين وخايف على جهالي وعند الناس شوعة وذلك معي بيت و... لها الحمد الله يحفظها منظمة الزهرة ويبارك فيكم ويبارك فيها وكنت كنت أتمنى أن معانا بيت كنت أتمنى وذلك لها الحمد ربي ما فكنا ذلك أنه معانا بيت و... والمفتاح بيدي و... والمدبخ وكل شيء لا داخل وما لا داخل ذلك على ربي متربيها حسنة و... وحتم وحالي و... لا يتشغل هو حد ولا يتآذى هو حد ولا رسالتنا مؤسسة الزهرة الله يبارك فيها ويحفظها ويدي لها ويجعل لنا البيت ويبارك فيها ويعوضها بخير إن شاء الله الحمد لله سحقق الذي المطلوب ساكن في جرف ومن جرف إلى بيت سعادة الله وأهل البيت وفاطمة الزهراء نحمد الله ونشكره بفضل ربي والله يسكنهم الجنة عمرونا في الدنيا والله يعمر لهم قصور في الآخرة بإذن الله في الجنة إن شاء الله أصبح معي الحمد لله أصبح يعني أهلي مرتاح عليهم أعطوني مفتاح البيت جاهز أدخل أهلي أقفل عليهم أهل المكتب وأفتح لهم أهل المكتب أسير وأنا آمن لها الحمد لله شكر بفضل ربي وفضل أهل البيت وهذا ما نقدر نجازيهم، مع الله سبحانه وتعالى ما لهم جزاء الا عند ربي. انا كنت في ارض واجد، كيف اصبحت؟ انا كنت في جرف، ما دمت شفتني مرره ولا في جرف، انا وعوائلي. من جرف الى جرف الى جرف المطر انتقلنا الى الجرف الثاني. اليوم الحمد لله اعطوني بيت مرتاح وراقد باماني، لها الحمد لله الشكر، من فضل ربي وفضل اهل البيت. بالنسبة لهؤلاء الأسر فقد كانت فرحتهم كبيرة جدا بالنسبة لأنهم قد وجدوا مأوى يستظلون تحته مأوى يلقيهم البرد والشمس وهذه الظروف المحيطة بهم التي كانت من قبل أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين وهو خير الناصر ومعين Dear respected brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Thank you very much for joining in Today you are watching Ahlul Bayt TV This is live fundraising session of the Zahra Trust You have been seeing us coming live every day since the beginning of Ramadan during the nights of Qadr and now after post Qadr You must you must remember that after Qadr, the race is not yet finished. We still have these blessed days of Ramadan to encash upon. 
Like we've always said, don't treat your donations as expenses. Treat them as an investment. Whatever you donate will go towards the charity. The good things that you have mentioned, the good things that you have intended to go towards. The first thing and the foremost thing that we are going to be announcing and that has also been announced in the previous segment as well, we have a generous donor who has agreed to match every pound that we collect in this particular session up until £5,000. So our first and foremost milestone to achieve is to get to £5,000 within the first half an hour so that we can raise. If we raise £5,000 from you, we have a generous donor who will be giving away another £5,000, therefore adding into your benevolence charity that you have struck us. Um, on this occasion today, alhamdulillah, I have two guests with us. Let me introduce you. The first guest I have here, uh, it is Brother Kadim Virani. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. And we also have Brother Hussein Bandali. Thank you very much for coming on the show as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, before I introduce Brother Kadim Virani, I'd like to share um, a little story about the Zahra Trust. Uh, within Zahra Trust, we had a very prominent volunteer, a very prominent integral part of the Zahra Trust was Marhum Fadil Virani. Uh, Brother Kadim is the son of Marhum Fadil Virani. Thank you very much, for, uh, Brother Kadim, for coming on the show. Thank you very um, much. With regards to uh, your father being part of the Zahra Trust and the activities that he um, obviously, you know, gave his time, his money, his effort, all of those things into it. How do you feel about this and how do you carry his legacy? So, my father, um, he, would, he was very passionate about his work. He was always on his feet. The, most, the thing he was most passionate about was water. And that's oh, the thing we? we're here today for. It was water, it's, first it's just a glass of water, something we drink, something we shower with, wash our cars, but for people it's a sense of dignity. True. So these people don't have water and my father is one of the things he stood for most. Inshallah, I carry on his legacy um, with these trips, these shows. Inshallah, everyone can help me with it. Absolutely, absolutely. Water, as it says in the Holy Quran as well, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ Every living thing that has been created has been created with water. If you look at scientific evidences, if you look at any of those researches that comes up from the modern science, you will see some element of water is embedded within it. And with this, I'd like to call upon Brother uh, Hossein Bandali. Uh, thank you very much for coming on the show. And, and, and what do you feel when you, when you come onto the show and you'd like to motivate other people towards the donation of water itself? So Alhamdulillah, you know, it's almost coming to the end of Ramadan. You know, we've already experienced uh, what, odd 25 days of you know, struggling without water. So, you know, we might have a small glimpse, a small idea of what it may feel like, you know, when you're really thirsty, you're, you know, busy at work, you've had to wake up early, barely had any sleep, and a glass of water would, you know, really, you know, Freshen. hit the spot. Exactly. But you, you know, you can't. And for us, it's a choice. We've, you know, Allah's, you know, made it incumbent upon us, but ultimately, you know, we have the choice. If we wanted water, it's right there. Correct. Whereas for, you know, the people that we're raising funds for tonight uh, and, and these coming nights are people who are in desperation. They don't have a choice. And even if they do have a choice, sometimes it's something that looks like this, you know. It's dirty, it's got uh, disease and bacteria in it, and they don't have any other choice but this. Correct. Um, and so when we're in such a blessed uh, you know, situation, you know, we've had the nights of, uh, of Qadr um, uh, to reflect and to ask Allah for our hajjat. Now it's, now it's a, a point in time where we need to now, you know, through those askings, through those hajjat, Allah may have given you an opportunity tonight to, to give back. And so if that's an opportunity, you've, you've turned on the show, you're watching us right now, you're mm -hmm. hearing me speak, then this is that opportunity that you are asking Allah for. You are asking to give you risk. You are asking to give you, you know, bounties. You are asking to bless your family and your friends. This is that opportunity to, to bring that shafa, bring that barakah into your household. So take that, take that opportunity and, and grab it now. And like Absolutely. we've already mentioned, again, I want to re reiterate, you know, Alhamdulillah, we've been blessed. There's a, a donor who's going to double everything we raised tonight. So there's literally, you're getting double what you've, 
uh, you're putting in, and on top of that, we already know light increases tenfold. Absolutely. So it's, it's, it's multiplied upon multiplied. So don't miss this opportunity within this hour that we have. Uh, please call in, please donate, um, and there's, the numbers are on the screen. Uh, you can also see all the packages that we're involved with, and on the screen as well, you can see in the, in the background some of the work that's actually being carried out. Um, in these places that need uh, our help the most. Absolutely, and building on that premise, we've already received five pounds and 25 pounds, that makes up to 30 pounds. So now 30 pounds times two is 60, yeah. and that is where we are at. Whatever you donate, even one pound if you're donating, this pound will be multiplied into two, up until the cap of 500. Uh, up until the cap of 5,000. So we take this opportunity for the first half an hour. I would, I've, I've put this target on myself to make sure that we achieve 5,000 pounds before the end of this 25 minute session, inshallah. Uh, carrying on that, we're talking about water. We can see and we can, we can look how the people in destitute, people in situations where, um, you know, most parts of Pakistan, I'm originally from Pakistan. So I've seen this with my own eyes. You see, when you, when you go into those destitute situations and, and when you see their eyes, their eyes has that spark, but that spark is not because of excitement. That spark is because of sadness, because they've got tears in their eyes. And that sunlight that reflects onto that eyes is what's it's sparking their eyes. So there's a reason why their eyes are sparking is because of sadness. We know, we follow the footsteps of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. We know that Abul Fadl Abbas is the Saki, he's the one who gives water. We know that on the day of Karbala, on the day on the 10th of Ashura, before that, Imam Hussain alayhi salam even gave water to the enemies, not just to them, but to their animals. Mm. We are in the same situation right now. My grandfather used to always say is that the, the incidents are always the same. It's just the faces change, the names change, but the incidents are always yeah. the same. And, and, and on that token, you know, uh, in this month, I was, uh, a brother had mentioned earlier, I was uh, you know, watching a podcast and he mentioned that, you know, within this month also, you know, we have the, the death anniversaries of uh, um, Imam Ali and uh, Sayyid Khadija. Uh, Sayyid Khadija, yeah. sorry. And also the Waladat of Imam Hassan. And yeah, we know that they were all very charitable. They yes. were, you know, giving, and I think it's, a, you know, Allah does things through his ultimate wisdom. Correct. You know, these are constant reminders from the beginning of Ramadan throughout these, these occasions come up to remind us of those individuals, to learn about those individuals and to spark that initiative in us to be like them. And among, a, a common trait amongst all of them were that they were very charitable. They gave, you know, multiple times their entire wealth. And they were, uh, Imam Ali was, you know, known as the father of the orphans. So exactly. how many more, you know, opportunities and how many more reminders do we need, you know, and, and saying that, you know, you know, it's a common thing that we hear on the, the 19th and 21st, especially that, you know, the orphans of the city would, when they found out what happened to Amir al they were running to, to his door Allah to give Allah to Allah. him because they were, he was always the one looking after them. So. Let's take that um, as, a, as a sense of motivation. You know, Ziyad of Imam Hussein also on these Qadr nights are, is highly, highly recommended. So it's, you know, Allah does this for a reason. You know, these personalities are constantly brought up. And so it, they shouldn't just be lip service. It shouldn't be something Absolutely. we're reminded of, but then not act on. So, you know, I think that's a key part to, to yeah, remember absolutely. as well. We usually say about, you know, if you give one pound or if you do one sadaqah or if you do one blessing, Allah will multiply the blessings. Mm -hmm. All of these personalities, yes, the blessing is there, but all of these personalities did it for the rida of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What price can you put on getting or attaining the rida of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And that's the reason why these individuals, these personality gave away everything because Everything was from Allah in the first place. So whatever they received from Allah, they gave it back to the khalq Allah. They gave it back to the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On that same premise, because we live in a society where obviously things are gradually based, we also develop spiritually gradually. And that's where we introduce and we say, if you do one thawab, Allah will multiply the thawab. And this is where it is going to be. This is where it is going to take up. And in order for us to motivate you guys, 
the same concept we have applied here. This plaque, the big uh, praying carpet that you see in front of you. The big carpet has been put in for 1,500 pounds if somebody wants to donate 1,500 pounds. In the previous segment, we already had a sister, alhamdulillah, who donated 1,500 pounds and this plaque was already given to us. But we've got multiple plaques and this is the last plaque that we have for tonight. So to, for tonight, this is up for grabs for 1,500 pounds. This is the praying mat from the uh, from Najaf, from the Haram of Imam Ali alayhi salam, where the Zawars, the worshippers, the believers have prayed on it. And obviously you see that their hajjad has come true as well. So this is a very blessed, I, I must also put this into you as well. For one day, this blessed plaque was kept at my home just for safekeeping. And there was a there was a very long weighted problem that was not finishing or that was not getting solved. On that night, it was solved for me. So although I did not pay for it, although I did not, and, and, and I sometimes I think I don't deserve for it, but it did for me. It did the trick for me. So please, brothers and sisters, I do tell you this is a very, very, very blessed plaque here. The carpet from the haram of Imam Ali alayhi salam and you can see the blessings that it would bring. And we also have some, some of the stones, some of the marble from the shrines of Hazrat Abbas and Imam Hussain alayhi salam and that's for 500 pounds. So um, not only will your donation you know, benefit your soul but it also you'll get something out of it that you can keep within your house or give as a gift to your family. And that will be a constant source of barakah as it was here for you. Absolutely, for that, for it that was certainly. Of time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. On, the, on the topic of Imam Ali, the father of the orphans, I lost my father quite recently. You know, yeah. I know how it feels. Oh I empathize with all of the orphans when I see them um, in real life or on the TV. You know, these people, they haven't just lost their father. Some of them have lost their mother. You know, these people have lost everything, their homes, their jobs. You know, some of them, some of these orphans, they don't have a mother or father. They're raised by their grandmother or even any like random woman that's picked them up. But, you know, they still have hope. They have hope in Allah. Absolutely, they do. What, what do we have if we don't have hope in Allah? Absolutely. These people, we, in the month of Ramadan, we, we fast for what, 30 days? Brother, I'm just going to stop you there. We just got a caller on site. Inshallah, oh, we'll take the caller and then we'll continue to you. <laughs> yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, who is it and where are you calling from? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Ahmed. I'm calling uh, on behalf of the Zahra Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah, brother Ahmad. Thank you very much for calling in. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to firstly thank you guys for doing such an incredible job and making us really proud. Um, especially when I see young Karim um, in the studio. Karim is obviously the son for those who have been watching of Marhum Fazl Birani. Marhum Fazl was someone who, on a personal level, really inspired me. Um, when I first, first started working with the Zara Trust, he he was rooting for me. Um, he made me feel like a part of the team. He would check in on me every day. He would encourage me. He taught me so many, so many tricks and tips and tools that I use till this day, not just in, in this charity sector, but also in my day-to-day -day life. And he was someone who always had a radiant smile on his face. You could see his passion for working for the needy and the destitute was, was evident in the way he conducted himself. Um, and you know, just seeing Kazim here and the way he's following in his father's footsteps, mashallah, and of course his brother as well, um, Ali Asghar, um, mashallah, the, the both boys um, make us so incredibly proud. Um, and the last time we had a double bubble show on Ahli Bay TV was when Marhum Fazul was uh, with us and when we conducted the campaign together, him and I. Um, and alhamdulillah, it's no coincidence that now on this segment we are doubling donations while Kazan is with us, so I just want to say, Kazan, God bless you and your family. And of course, we always pray for Marhum Fazl. Inshallah. Um, and yeah, just, just to keep up the work. If anyone is listening at home, don't wait for this opportunity. You're watching for a reason. You're hearing these stories for a reason. And we only have a few blessed nights, Shahrat Aban, left. Every second of Ibadah, every breathing moment is worship and prayers. Why not take this opportunity to multiply your Ibadah through God and Inshallah to double through the, uh, the generous donors as well on top of that. Ahsantum, Ahsantum. Brother Ahmad, thank you very much for calling in. You've taken that opportunity. And what Brother Ahmad has done here is actually initiated that chain reaction. He has initiated that chain reaction so that it could motivate us. By you calling in, giving us those motivations also motivate us. And also it brings us that uh, satisfaction that what we are doing is actually for the good. 
And on that thing, when you were talking about the orphans, the other day, obviously, I have a daughter. Her name is Fatima Zahra. We've kept her name on uh, the lady Fatima Zahra. And I was telling her that, I, you know, I'm going to the studio and I need to fundraise. And then she said, Baba, what do you do there? I say, I tell people that, uh, you know, you need to donate. But she said, why? I said, because there are orphans who need help from us. And then she said, what is an orphan? Because obviously she's not, you know, we are still there. And I said, you know, when somebody's mama or baba passes away, you become an orphan. And then she said to me, is that if you guys die, will I go to the Zahra Trust orphanage? Mm -hmm. And that was the time when I said, Alhamdulillah, my work has been done. Because I have proven to my own child that if I die, or if, if, if your mother dies, and if I die, both of your parents dies, you will be taken into the orphanage of Zahra Trust. Because I know that the things that they do for the orphans is impeccable. The services that they give in terms of food and water and medical assistance, even psychological needs, because you see these orphans, they, their, their father figures have been taken away from them. Their mother figures have been taken away from them. What they need is, yes, definitely, they need food, they need water, they need medical. It's also educational as educational. well. Educational. Uh, no. They yeah. need the support, like what Brother Ahmad was saying that, you know, uh, Brother Marhum Fadil also taught him a few tricks. This is what a father does. He teaches you. He tells you how to live in this life for the betterment of your future, for this world and for the hereafter as well. As I was saying previously, you know, Ramadan is for us, it's only 30 days. And what, we Absolutely. fast for a couple of hours. These people, these orphans, widows, um, it's not just Ramadan. It's for them, it's the whole year. For yep. them, it must have been a couple of years and God forbid for their whole lives. Correct. You know, these people they don't have clean water, they don't have shoes, they don't have things like a bed, heating. In the cold winter nights, they're sitting there in the cold, shivering. You know, let's take a moment to think, you know, who wants to beg for something? Who wants to, you know, beg to be given food? Absolutely. Ask for a handout, lose their dignity just to, you know, have the essentials. That's true. Absolutely. With your donations, we can, inshallah, End the cycle, and that's Absolutely. what my that, that's what that's what my father's aim was. He always wanted to end the cycle with whatever he could do. And that's and that's a beautiful thing that you know the Zahra Trust allows for is that it sets up these um, you know these families, these orphans, these widows um, with a, a method to try and come out of the the position they're in. Um, and so by through your donations, you're not only just feeding someone for a day or you know getting them out of their immediate um, you know difficulty, but inshallah it provides them. Uh, you know, that comfort that, you know what, I, I don't need to worry about food and water right now. I can now focus on my education. I can focus on, uh, you know, whatever it may be um, in order to better their lives and, and provide for the society around them. And eventually, you know, when these children grow up, you know, they become part of the society. You know, their works, their whatever they then do, you will have been a part of that. You will have been a part of that upbringing, Absolutely. That, Absolutely. That, um, that raising. So, it's a continuous cycle, like we keep saying, you know, every time you donate, it's, you're not only just, you know, helping that person in that moment, you're helping them for the rest of their you're life. You're also helping for the um, rest of their life. And I know Brother uh, Kadim here has a lot to say, but we've just got a caller. We'll take the caller, inshallah, and then we'll come back to Brother Kadim as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes, sister, how are you and where are you calling from? Alhamdulillah. And what motivated you to call us tonight? Um, so, first of all, last year, not last year, a couple of years ago, um, inspired our family and my little girl to donate to the Zahra Trust. Um, so, inshallah, we can't be here today, continuing for the legacy. Um, you know, ending the cycle, and I'm really, really proud of him, and that's what's motivated me for today. Excellent. Yes, we know Brother Father has been a prominent figure in the society. Thank you very much. Are you, are you pledging or are you donating something today, inshallah, to motivate uh, other brothers and sisters to come forward as well, just like yourself? I'm donating. Um, I'm sorry, you got cut off. Uh, you are donating? Yes. Uh, and uh, what amount would that be? I'm donating the monthly food parcel. 
The monthly food parcel. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. And just as a special on this segment, whatever you donate will be doubled by one of our generous donors who has given us a commitment. So Alhamdulillah, you've done the double performance. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for calling in today. Thank you. I'm so proud of Kaizen and his whole family, my sister-in-law, folks, her kids, Mariam and Azbali. They're doing a fantastic job of continuing Fazl's legacy. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Thank you very much, sister, for calling in. Thanks very much. Yes, Brother Kadim. Yes. Bismillah. Let's continue. You know, one thing, I had the opportunity just last month in March to go on one of the trips with the Zara Trust, one of the refugee aid trips. It's, you know, it's actually a heartbreaking thing to see. You know, we see it on our screens, we see it um, all, all over the news. When you actually go there and you actually experience what they're, what they're actually going through. Correct. You know, people, unfortunately, they would literally run to us in the streets asking, you know, do you have money? Do you have this? Do you have that? I don't have anything. I'm your team. You know, and that honestly, it, it makes you heartbroken. But, you know, you can't show that in front of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. W when we're at the camps, you know, to, for example, the dentistry, the optometry, the medical, when you're there, if you show your emotion, they, they are there relying on your help. You can't just break down because they've been going through this their whole life, unfortunately. They've been going through this their whole life. They've been in bad situations. And, you know, with the donations and show up. Absolutely. That's the beautiful thing that the fact that you know you've gone, you've seen the work being done, you've seen what the donations are actually paying towards. You know, you were talking about the medical camp, the dental camp, you know, that these are again things that we take for granted, you know, Alhamdulillah here in, in the UK, you know, we have the NHS, although <laughs> it's uh, let's not go into that. But Alhamdulillah if you need something, if you're in you know dire strife, you need a hospital, you need medical care you need something that, 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 that's available, you absolutely, know? It's absolutely. not something you have to, you know, think twice about, you know? If you've got toothache, for example, you come and see, see, see a dentist. dentist, you know? They, it's not something that's constantly in the back of your mind, whereas for, for these people, you know, they're waiting months or years to, for a camp like this to come along exactly. to, they, to, to try and deal with their issues. Like, for example, on tap, like we do, we go, I'd say, to just one place, that's right. Every couple of months. And it's not just one place, it's spread, across, it's spread across different cities. And then when you go back to see them, there's more problems because they don't, they don't have it like we do. Absolutely. And it's usually said, if you speak from the heart, it goes into the heart. As Brother Kadim and Brother Hussein here are speaking, we've got an enormous donor who has actually donated a water well for 1,500 pounds. And Nara Hadri has to be here now. Nara Hadri! That's now 3,000 pounds. That is exactly, you remember, that is 3,000 pounds. So callers, please, please take advantage like this, you know, uh, Masha, this this excellent donor, you know, donated a water well, which now will serve, I believe, it's two thousand people exactly um, at, on a daily basis, and and that will continue. So, you know, inshallah, this inspires you to also call in and, and you know gain from this exactly. This night, and well. our total Sam. has reached to about eight thousand eight hundred and forty-five. Uh -huh. But just for this segment, we are going to be doing the doubling on. So keep tuned. Get out your mobile phones. You've got the app as well. There's the Zahra Trust app that you can go towards. Log in, create your profile if you've not done it as yet. Go on to it and it makes it very easy for you to make the future payments for making any future donations. You know, every penny counts, to be honest, whether you're donating £10, £100, £1,000. The fact that you're donating, yeah. it's building your house in heaven, actually. Absolutely. It is building your house in heaven. And we will now show you how Zahra Trust actually uh, you know, spends the donations that actually you have given to us. So let's take this moment. We're just going to go for a very quick one minute video to showcase what the activities are done by Zahra Trust and we'll come back with you. See you on the other side. <laughs> وما باستطاعتها اشتري سما احيانا اذا ما في اكل يعني اضطر الامر انه ما في اكل عندنا بالبيت 
بنروح على السيدة زينب عليها سلام الله بنفطر عندها بصحن السيدة زينب عليها سلام الله في كثير أكلات جاي عبرنا أول أكلة جاي عبرنا أكلة سمك وثاني أكلة جاي عبرنا نعمل كبسة لأنه صار لنا زمان عن جد يعني زمان زمان ما ساويناها لأنه من فقر نوع الطاقة يعني إنه أنا ما باستطاعت إنه أجيب لحمة يعني فروج وساوي كبسة أما مقلوبة وما باستطاعت إنه أنا أشتري لبنتي سمك وبرادي نملي يعني أمنيته كأنه نملي بس عادي إنه فيك تشوفه يعني إنه فاضي ما في شيء يعني وباب مقلو وحطت له بردا يعني بس أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, just before the one video, uh, we left you off and there was an anonymous donor who actually did donate a water well, alhamdulillah. And by donating that, there is a double effect. There is a ripple effect that come into it because we have a generous donor who is committed for every pound that you donate, he will be putting in another pound from his side as well. And the cap is about to 5,000 pounds, inshallah. So we already have reached about, uh, you know, uh, 1,500 to about 1,800 pounds as yet. So inshallah, we still have another uh, about 3,500 odd pounds to go and to reach to us. So at least we will be able to claim that double effect from the, uh, the generous donor from our side. You can see the studio numbers is there on the screen. It's 0203-411-7892. Eight eight four two. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. There, and so. it is on the screen. Please do give us a ring. It motivates us. It tells us exactly. We've been here. We've been working round the clock in Ramadan. We've been working round the clock during the days of the, of all the years. When you call in, when when you motivate us, it actually shows us that yes, Alhamdulillah, the things that we are doing on the ground is something worth you know something worth mentioning as well. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You can see that we have different kinds of packages, and I've always said you know donation is donation. It is donating. Yeah. But sometimes there are certain people who say, you know what, I believe in education, so therefore I'd like to donate for education. I believe in feeding the poor. So you've got a, uh, you've got a package for food aid. You've got a package for, uh, for the Ramadan food. You believe in water, you've got water aid. All of this, you've got medical, the, the, the medical packages there. Whatever, whatever gushes your blood in your veins, come up, donate, Except, you know, you can go onto the, uh, onto the category of the website, you can go onto the app, you can select whatever category that you want to donate towards, and inshallah you can, uh, you can and there's, also... there's also an option for where most needed, so if you're not sure specifically exactly. where you want to donate, you know, the Zahra Trust allows and al allocates, you know, funding to, to be Absolutely. spread around and, and where And just where to build needed. on the way this where most needed, it actually opens our hand, because what happens, you know, when we're on the ground and when there's someone who comes out, and says, you know, I need help with something. Now, if we don't have donations within that category, our hands are bound and we are not able to give because your sadaqah that are given to us, your donations that are given to us is our responsibility. Because you've selected certain category, we have to donate in that certain category because we are amin in this perspective. But when somebody comes up, we use this where most needed and then we give it to them. So very, very well raised point that you've done there is that where most needed is one of the categories which is very popular amongst our donors as well. I know because I do the Sharia accounting analysis for uh, the Zahra Trust. So I know and I see that there are people, they've actually gone into the app or they've actually gone into the website and they've done a recurring payment. So there's a debit order that you can put in for one pound, five pound every day. I see this uh, sister, uh, and, and she donates one pound every day. And oh, that one Allah. pound every day I allocate it into the sadqa because she's put it into the sadqa category. So it, it, it really motivates us. It, it really shows us that what we're doing... You know, a little can go a long way. Exactly, exactly. it does. The so. accountability that we have for Zahra Trust. All of these, you know, fundraising shows that we're coming here, night and day, every night, we want to showcase whatever you've donated and where it is going to us. You no, know, my father actually taught us quite a lot, but he would teach us through things such as jokes. So he would, um, for example, buy us a meal deal and talk about wisdom. And he'd say something like, you know, a lot of people might know this quote. He would say, we are where we are because of our choices. We always have a choice, and it's the choice that we make that defines us. Everyone out there has a choice. You have a choice whether to donate or not. And all it takes is to voice a few, car a few digits out of your card 
and you can help someone in need. Absolutely. His wisdom goes where whenever Brother Kadim or, uh, or Brother Hussein speaks, we usually get donations. Alhamdulillah. We've got donation of 48 pounds. We've got donations of 22 pounds. Five pounds, fifty pounds, alhamdulillah, salawat Allah. Salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad, alhamdulillah. That brings us towards a total of nine thousand and ninety-five pounds, alhamdulillah. And another thing to note as well, when you are donating, if you are a UK tax taxpayer, I think you can also allocate uh, gift aid as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yes. You know, take every opportunity to maximize your donation. Uh, you know, alhamdulillah. Just a reminder again for anyone who's just tuned in, we're doubling. Um, uh, all the donations up to five thousand pounds in this last segment. So please take an opportunity. You know we're almost halfway through the segment now, so there's about half 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 an hour left. So please do call in, get involved. Over this um, next half. Speaking an hour. of call in, we've got a call. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes, brother. You are. You are Ali Madad. Yes, brother. What is your name and where are you calling from? My name is uh, Sikandar Abbas. MashaAllah Sikandar Abbas, thank you very much for calling in. What motivated you to call us today? Bismillah. You know, uh, sorry, I'm a bit uh, nervous. Normally, I don't normally do this. But, uh, you know, one of my good friends, Imran Bai, he uh, normally calls every year. And he called a few days ago. And he encouraged me to just uh, call up today. Uh, um, because you know, even me and him, we know very, very well the Hussain Bai and uh, Qadim Ali Bai. So uh, we wanted to just call up to encourage everyone at home to also donate, you know, for this very good cause. Absolutely. Marshall. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. These are very sweet words. And obviously, like we said, anything that is spoken from the heart goes a long way. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, brother, are you going to be donating um, anything today? Inshallah, I wanted to donate something, but I have one condition, please. Yes, please. You know, earlier on, I heard Hussain by doing Nare Hazri, <laughs> but I haven't heard Kazim by doing Nare Hazri yet. So I will donate on one condition. If Kazim, Kazim by has to get up from his chair, please. please Kazim by get up on your chair. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Ali. <laughs> yeah, Ali. Bismillah. I do one big. Okay, okay, okay. I will give you a nice Nare Hadri. I will read a small qat'a and then you do okay. Nare Hadri. Jungle Pahad Kehtege Nade Ali Ali Mushkil ko sab ki hal karo Mushkil ko shali Yeah, thank you, thank you for Allah. calling in and you know lifting the energy of thank our, you very our, much. our energy. Thank absolutely, you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. These Nara Hedris are literally, you know, it it brings us live within ourselves, yes. you know. It brings us for it, sure. Absolutely. It you know even even for someone who is a mayat who is dead will rise up with the Nara Hadri. Right. I didn't know you had such yeah. a nice voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brother Abbasa, inshallah, how much are you will you be donating, inshallah? Inshallah, inshallah, I will be donating 20, 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Allah. Allahumma salli ala Allah. Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. And you know, and you know, and you know, your will reward only lies with Bibi Park and Allah. Bibi Park. Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Absolutely. All of these things that we are doing, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us. Where may his infallibles, say the Zahra salamu alayha, inshallah, accept it as, uh, accept this from us. All that we do, inshallah, is in the cause that on the day of judgment we might be able to lift our heads and say to Imam Ali and say to Sayyidah Zahra salamu alayha that we were blessed with something and alhamdulillah we were able to give back to the society. Brother Abbas, Mashallah. thank you very much for calling in. Sikandar. 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 Brother Sikandar, thank you very much for calling in, inshallah. Uh, ya Ali, Ali, Ya Ali, 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 Ali. Thank you very much. MashaAllah, what a lovely caller, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. We encourage every one of you to please call in. Let your sons and daughters dial that number 0203 411 7842. There we go. There we go. 7842. Okay. Yes, uh, right. On, on, on another point, you know, uh, you know, we were talking, this is Kazim's first show. So yeah. That's, um, so, 
you know, the, our first caller, you know, mentioned how uh, Fazal Uncle, you know, got him involved. And in fact, it's a similar situation for me as well. The first uh, show I did. Uh, for ZT, I think at that time there was a white T-shirt. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I remember, you know, he called me up, said, you know, I want you to go on the show. Um, so he encouraged me to to get involved, and Alhamdulillah, since then I've been on on numerous shows. So you know, it's things like this. Encourage, you know, if it's not coming on the show, it's encourage people. Like our brother just said, you know, one of his one of his friends encouraged him to call in and donate. So that's, that's something you can also do if you've donated already or you're donating now and you know there are other people out there who are maybe a bit hesitant or a bit shy. Yes. You know, yeah. encourage them, uh, you know, advise them, you know, we, we're, you know, we're welcoming, we'll speak nicely, you know, we're not going to scare you. Um, so yes. do please call in, encourage others to call in. And again, just another reminder, you know, we're doubling every donation to, uh, in this final segment. So Absolutely. please do call in. And with and that, we have a donation of £100, which is now doubled, and now we can £200. Muhammad wa Ajjal Farajom. And with the donation of Brother Sikandar, it was 20 and now it has become 40 alhamdulillah. And with that, alhamdulillah, you know, like you said, if you say something from the heart, it goes in the heart. We've got another caller. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes, brother. Yes. Yes, go on. Naveed, mm -hmm. I'm calling um, and I was looking to donate. Uh, yes, is this uh, brother Nabi you've said? Nazir. Nazir. Brother Muhammad Nazir. Nabi. Yes, Bismillah. What motivated you to call today, brother Nazir? Um, well, I was sitting down with my family today for Rabdar and we were looking at TV and we saw the stories and documentaries on the dark and even when I was with my family, we were saying how very sad mm -hmm. that they don't get water, they don't get food, so much food for the dark, so much fun. But it's not fair, they pass the whole day and spend a few crumbs on that plate. True. Absolutely. That is that is true. Um, we have these instances where people uh, on this side of the of the planet, you know, we've got abundance of food and all of these things. But you know, there are many places in the in, in the world where food is in scarcity, and we definitely yes. need to help them and reach yes, them, definitely. inshallah, from our side. But we take it for granted. Absolutely, we definitely. do take it for granted. Inshallah, I hope that by your act today most people will understand the value of food that we see in the plate today. And inshallah, are you, are you pledging uh, any donations today, Brother Nadir? Inshallah, yes. Bismillah. Okay. How much will you be donating I would like today? To donate, I would like to donate 30 pounds. So 30 pounds, mashallah. Salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I would like to, would like to end my, uh, my call. Absolutely. Again, who would you like to meet himself? Yeah, Ali. Ali. Mashallah. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, brother Zir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your call. The beauty of the caller. Thank you. You know that he realized that he's sitting with his family, and and they came to that same realization. You know that you know they're sitting there. You know on the table. You know enjoying an iftar. You know, a lot of us, it's not even we have a choice of one thing. Sometimes we have a choice of multiple things. You exactly. know, there's some pastries, yeah. there's some samosas, yeah. bugs. You know, <laughs> you know it's, we have an abundance of choice. You know, we, yes, we fast for the day. You know, we feel that little bit of hunger. But we know that whatever we want, you know, we just send the order into exactly. mom or wherever it may be. <laughs> and, and it gets sorted out. You know, there's, there's people out there who, who don't have That's a choice. That's their choice. You know, or that this is or nothing. The only this thing. or nothing. And, exactly. And so by... Your donations, you're giving, you know, these these children, these women, these you know, these people a choice to to, to not to, to not you know think twice about uh, about their religious duties. They know that at the end of the day, inshallah, you know, they will do their fast and they'll have something to break. Absolutely, at their fast. As I absolutely. Said, every penny counts, and with every penny is building your house in Jannah. Absolutely, and with that, we've got some donations of twelve pounds and ten pounds. Alhamdulillah, we are very close to ten thousand. The target that we had set in. Uh, in the beginning of the segment. So Alhamdulillah, total is 9,439. So we've, wow. we have about 500 odd quid shot. Wow. Inshallah, I know, I know that these things will be able, we can achieve this. 
And again, you know, until this segment finishes, we've got about 15 minutes until the segment will finish. And still, we have a donor that has pledged us to double any donations that come in. So, but inshallah, we'll pick up the phone. Hour, so, please do make please. sure that within this last 15 minutes that if you're going to make a donation, make it now. Because this is where, you know, we're, we're benefiting. Well, we're all benefiting. Exactly. Uh, but ultimately, the people in need are going to be benefiting most. Because Absolutely. we're going to be able to double that. It's, that. it's double or nothing, as they say. Please, so, please help us to get to our quota. Absolutely. Please. Absolutely. Uh, you know, speaking about that, you know, in terms of saving lives, we have a case of uh, baby Maryam, Sayyida Maryam. And, and we know that she's been suffering from a very acute, a, a very rare kind of SMA type. Uh, type, uh, type 1 disease and she was also taken to uh, the UAE to make sure that you know uh, uh, the diagnostics were done and the specialists have confirmed that she might be if she is given the treatment we can inshallah the survivability is over 70% inshallah, inshallah. we will be able to save her but the injection that is needed for her is 1.8 million pounds there was another brother the other night who was telling me, he said, you know what we can do with 1.8 million? I said, whatever it is that we can do with 1.8 million, our aim is to save this child. Because if you save one life, you save the humanity. Yeah, no, no, these, are, these, are, you know, these aren't just you know, words that we're putting out. These are, are sayings from, uh, you know, this, this is given guidance to us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's, it's important on, uh, for us to... You know, take that into account, really think about it. You can see on the screen, you know, um, pictures of, of baby Maryam. And, you know, just, to, you know, we just have to s sit down and maybe imagine, you know, our daughter or our little niece or, you know, our little sister. You know, that, that could have been us. That could have been, um, you know, our little sister who needed that help. And what would we do and how much would we, you know, be in need for, for people to assist us? So, you know, put yourself in that position, really think hard. I think tonight, you know, I'm in, I have an opportunity, if you're watching us right now, I have an opportunity to help save this little girl's life. So take that opportunity About khums now. as well, you could also motivate people to give the khums because they have just accept khums as well. So For all sure. of this goes, and we know that Sayyida Maryam is a, from the Sadat. So all the, anything that you give, a, give towards khums, you know, there's 50% Sahma Imam and 50% is Sahma Sadat. So whatever khums that you give today, Within this 10 minutes, 15 minute session, not just it will go towards Sayyidah Maryam, but again, it will be doubled as well. As I said previously, I did have the honor of going on the March trip. Yes. There's, just, there's not just one of baby Maryam. There's hundreds of them. There's not Correct. just one person that needs this care. There's literally hundreds of them. And they're not getting it. That's the, that's the sad part of it. How can you, for example, on your TV, watch this and still not still donate. Not donate absolutely because there's, honestly there's literally hundreds from what i saw and they all need the help absolutely they and and that is the incredible thing about zahra trust what i really like zahra trust has actually made this platform available where they've matched the donors with the destitute they've actually matched the haves with the have-nots so why don't we take this opportunity Come online, go to the website, you can go onto the app, you can select the category that you wish for and you can donate towards this. Brothers and sisters who are looking in Canada, they can go towards the local uh, website as well because we've got offshoots in Canada. We've also got one of our offshoots in the US. Brothers and sisters, I know that you're watching at this moment, inshallah. Uh, inshallah when you see this locally in the US you can go on to the website zahratrust.org and you can donate in the local currency you can go into Canada which is zahrafoundation.ca and you can donate into the local and you can take advantage and, of and just another tax. reminder we've, we've just been notified so so far in this segment we've raised two and a half thousand so we still have another two and a half thousand that if we we generate within the next 10 10 to 15 minutes yep. then that will also be doubled so please please call us or even if you're not calling in please call in to the studio uh, hotline and there are um uh, the station line sorry and um there will be people there to take and um you know sort out your your donation you know, on for the you. screen you can see you have the studio line if you want to call into us 
Uh, we have your donation line. Exactly, like and also the website. Too. So please do that within the next 10 minutes so we can make most uh, of this. Uh, they've they've listened to you, Brother Hussain. <laughs> they've right. listened to you again, <laughs> Brother Kadi. <laughs> and not just one will, they've donated two wills, alhamdulillah. Allah. 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 Mashallah, and that is another six thousand pounds because Mashallah, Alhamdulillah, because fifteen hundred times two makes three thousand. Yes. Three thousand times two makes six thousand. All in all, in total. And I've been told by a little bird that you also recite very nice mantabat <laughs> on, you know, the madh of uh, the Ahlul Bayt. So very quickly, inshallah, if, if uh, we could ask you to recite something, uh, you know, something as, uh, you know, like two ashar or something like that. While you pull up, if you want to pull up, uh, I can recite, inshallah, one na'at. Just two stanzas, inshallah. <laughs> this is one na'at that my, that my father really, really likes. And inshallah, I... Um, I'd like to dedicate it towards him, inshallah. With your Lord, salawat, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Koi sali ka hai arizu ka Na bandagi meri bandagi सब तुम्हारा करम है आका के बात अब तक बनी हुई है The shayir is actually talking about it says I'm nothing my bandagi whatever worship that I do is worthless whatever I am today is just because of what you have made me today and the shit goes towards like this. Um, he says, Kisi ka ehsaan kyu uthaye Kisi ko halat kyu bataye Tum hi se maangenge, tum hi doge Tum hi se maangenge, tum hi doge Tum haare dar se hi lo lagi hai He says, why should I tell my circumstances to anyone? And that is exactly what you were speaking. There are people in Iraq, there are people in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in parts of Africa you know, when you want to go and when, to, when you want to ask for help, they cannot ask for help. They don't know how to ask for help. Although they are needy, they want it, but they don't ask for help. It is for those people out there who we know that you are in need of help, but you don't know how to ask for help. And that is what it is. It says, why should I ask from anyone? I should ask from my Aqa. I should ask from my Mola. And my Mola will give it to me. Brothers and sisters, this dunya is the dunya of wasail. This dunya is, a, is the dunya of wasila. I am 100% sure, Allah says in the Quran, that I am greater and I love you more than 70 mothers. He will never leave those destitute people alone. But he works through a silsila of wasail. He exactly. works through wasila. Do you want to be that wasila so that they can be helped? Allah will help them. He will find some other wasail. He will help them from the ghaib. But why don't you become that wasila, inshallah? And this is what it is, inshallah. And with that, inshallah, we have a caller as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, sister. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, where are you calling from and what motivated you to call today? Um, so I am Fazal Verani's wife. Uh, my name is Fatima. You have my son, Kadamza. <laughs> Um, I was lucky enough to accompany my husband um, on many trips abroad um, and if it's okay, I wanted to relay the experience of one of the most recent trips. Bismillah. Yeah, so we um, were lucky enough to go out and run a, a medical aid trip. We have an amazing core team. Um, in the middle of the second day, we saw a really beautiful girl walk in. She was probably about four years old. 
Her name was Narjis. She walks in, she seems scared of everything, the smallest noise, you know, people approaching her, and she looked like she was going to cry, and she was recoiling away from us. When she sat in my chair, all I could see was her torn clothes, stains all over her, no parent in sight, and her feet were flat. So she had very special shoes that she was supposed to wear. The unfortunate part of it was that the shoes were at least three sizes outgrown and completely torn. Lila. We then got the story of this girl. Her father was killed during the war. Her mother later died of cancer. She was now being brought up by her grandparents. Her blood grandmother was dead and she had a step-grandmother. This is the reality of what is happening out there on the ground. We actually took her out and we took her to the shops um, immediately and we bought her four sets of clothes. And I can't tell you the joy that we saw on this girl's face just because we bought her the jeans that she wanted to wear. Subhanallah. On the way back, she was sitting in a taxi and my colleague, I had Yasin with me, and he went and bought her some chocolates and some, we asked her what drink she wanted and she asked for milk. And we got three little bottles of milk. Yeah, and see. initially she was scared of us. She was scared to even, you know, sit in my lap. But she began to relax when we were being kind to her. She finished one bottle of milk. She finished the second bottle of milk. Yeah, I did. She finished the third one. Yeah. And when we asked her when she had last drunk milk, she said she doesn't remember. This is Narija. This is the reality. And this is why people must donate. So everybody sitting at home that's thinking about picking up the phone, today is your opportunity. You have Karim and these wonderful gentlemen sitting there assisting you and giving you inspiration as to why to donate. Your donation is being doubled. Help them to get through to that 5,000 pounds. So the 5,000 becomes 10,000. Sister, okay, and thank you very much. And, and, and I see you are the mistaq of Sayyida Zainab, sallallahu alayhi You know what she said? She said, after looking at all of those atrocities that went in Karbala, she said, وَمَا رَأَيْتَ إِلَّا jamila." I did not see except beauty. What you saw with that baby was actually beauty. Your actions that made her satisfied, that made her actually drink milk that is very nutritional and essential for her. It is not the calamity that befalls on that we need to be sad about, which is, but it is the after effect of what we do with that calamity. And this is what the sister and we know about Marum Fazl were, were able to do about that. Uh, Alhamdulillah, um, thank you very much for the call. Thank you very much for motivating other people as well. Um, can I just add one more thing? Uh, very um, quickly, we just uh, very yes, short of time. Very but quickly, yes. I think Karen sitting there is testament to Fazl. And the thing that I would like to sort of tell myself and all parents, children don't listen. Children watch. So everything that we do is what will be what our children do. So I think we should all take note of that and think about how to reflect on that in our own lives. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sister. Thank you very much for calling in. Alhamdulillah. We see the legacy of Marhum Fadr, uh, uh, inshallah, carrying on from here as well. Uh, we don't have enough time, um, Brother Hussein, inshallah. <laughs> I will still, you, you are still due for that we'll month, inshallah. The next time when you come in, we will ask yeah. you to decide that as well. But I take this opportunity to thank Brother Kadim here. I thank this opportunity to thank uh, Brother Hussein here for coming in, motivating the youth, motivating the young and the old to donate for whatever Allah has given you from it. Once again, uh, let me remind you, we still have, even though this show fundraising will finish, but our lines for donations will still be open. You can still go onto the website, you can still go into the app, and you can still keep donating. You also can see the details of the bank accounts there. You can also donate from a direct bank transfer if you wanted to, and if you don't want it to use uh, the website or the app for any of those matters. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, in this particular uh, segment, we were able to raise three water wells. We did some wow. very good work, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. The total that we have raised so far is 15,539.
اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم and الحمد لله whenever we house we try and you know finish off with the dua of Imam Zamana alayhi salam so if you all come with me and inshallah recite Allahumma kulli waliyakal and then inshallah we'll bait farewell Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma kulli waliyakal hujjat ibn al-Hasan salawatuka alayhi wa ala abai في هذه الساعة وفي كل الساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا until next time, take care of yourself. Fi Amani Allah. Baby Maryam, born on the 7th of June 2012. <laughs> The average life expectancy is around 80 years, but as time goes on, you realize that the moments from birth to death pass in what seems to be a blink of an eye. The only way to get some perspective